Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for today's reading lesson. Last week we talked about using our muscles and making our brain stronger because you know what? Our books are getting a little bit harder. We're becoming better readers and it's time for us to read books that are a little bit harder. And that means that our patterns are getting harder too. You might have noticed this in your book. Readers notice harder patterns. So there are some different things you might be noticing. Today we're going to talk about when we notice the patterns are getting a little bit longer. Way back in the beginning of the year, we read pattern books like, I like cookies, I like pizza, I like spaghetti. Those books were really easy. They only had a few words on the page and just one word was changing. But lately, I've been noticing that our patterns are getting a little bit longer. And we also have to pay very close attention to where the pattern is changing. It's not always the last word. So today we're going to look at a couple new books to see if we're noticing these types of patterns. Okay, friends, here are some books that I've been noticing have a little bit of a harder pattern, like a longer pattern or a pattern that changes somewhere in the beginning or the middle of the sentence. So let's look at our book from yesterday. Remember this book, Rain? This pattern was a little bit longer. I had to read all these words on the page before I came to the last word where the pattern changed. But this pattern had two sentences on the page that went on three lines. So I had to read, look at the rain. The rain is falling on A. I had to remember and read all those words before I got to the part where it changed. We've also read a book called Mom and Kayla. This pattern was a little bit longer and it had a word that changed in a different place in the sentence. It had a word at the end of the first sentence that changed and then it was here in the second sentence. At first it says, mom has a hat, Kayla has a hat too. We had to look for the place where it changed. Mom has a jacket. Here is changing in the middle, not just at the end. Kayla has a jacket too. So we had to look and notice two words that changed. This is another book I've been reading and you might have seen in your book baggies called What Can I Do? which has two sentences. A bee can buzz, but so can I. I'm noticing that a word changes here in the beginning and the ending of the first sentence. A dog can bark, but so can I. So this one, we had to look for two words that were changing in the pattern. Today, your job as a reader is to notice when you have a little bit of a harder pattern in your book. Maybe it's a longer pattern, or maybe it's a pattern where the words change in the beginning or the middle, or there could even be two words on a, pa on a page that change. So your job while you're reading today is to look for those things and to make sure that you're noticing when that happens. And then using the strategies that we talked about to figure out those words, like using the beginning sound.